Oh yeah. Oh. Oh snap! Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to Red Journey West. You might remember last year we played the first Journey, which was an absolutely fantastic fan game. If you haven't played it or watched the series, I highly recommend you go check it out because it was so, so good. But it's basically about Professor Oak's Stun Up the League in Kanto. But this is a um, post game or like DLC if you want to think of it that way to that game. So uh, go play through that and then you get to unlock Red Journey West, which um, is set off the events of when Gold defeats Red. And we're going to go see what happens to Red after, because um, it's always been a bit of a mystery, hasn't it? So let's jump right in. So if you guys want to play along, as always, a link in the description down below. Do go check it out, but let's jump right in. Welcome to the postgame, Red's Journey West. 2000. Credits to Earthscape for his caves and National Park and Route 49 maps. The last one is amazing. Ooh, can't wait to see it then, but get ready for a big adventure in Johto. I am ready. Dedicated to the newer generations. I gotta say, as a kid, playing through Gold, Silver, Crystal, going up to uh, top of Mount Silver, Sea, and Red, that was just, ah, oh, peak childhood that was. Honestly, so good. Oh, hey, oh, finally, finally. I finally found you. I've been trying to reach you for years. Thankfully, I stumbled upon that trainer from Johto. I knew it would eventually lead me to you. The strongest always seek out the strongest. In the old times, it would have been the other way. You seeking out people like him. What happened then? Am I arriving just in the nick of time? And witnessing your loss? Feels like deja vu. You know what I mean? Well, he got you good, didn't he? Oh, Red is pissed. <laughs> Look at you. Where's all that burning tenacity now? I respect you, you know? But right now, you disgust me. I still can't believe I lost to someone like you three years ago. Is this the first time another trainer gave you a challenge? Ah, <sighs> anyway, that's not the only reason I'm here for. I have news that might be of great interest to you. Seems like my parents had left something behind. A letter. The letter reads like a marriage contract. A contract obliging Daisy to marry the neighbor's firstborn. Obviously the firstborn is not referring to you. The letter mentions both Daisy and the neighbor's son were born in 1980. But you and I, we were born six years later. Oh, do you think? In the story here, Red has a brother? Or do you think it was like before Red moved in? Interesting, but you remember Daisy, right? Why even asking? Yeah, of course I remember Daisy, but you haven't visited for years. Just wanted to let you know. When I lost to you, my entire worldview crumbled, you know? But somewhere along the way, I grew up. In part, I owe that to you. No matter how much it pains me to admit such a fact. What will you do now? Uh, if what the letter says is true, you think he might still be out there somewhere? Am I going to snoop around? Oh, I'm going to snoop around Gramps' lab. I think he might know something I don't. Here's my number. You haven't called home in years, but right now you better call me if you find something. I sure will. I can't stand seeing you like this. I hope finding him will help you ease your soul. Ooh, hey. Red's Journey West. Okay. Oh. Okay, oh. So we do have a super speed, which is very nice. Now let's go check this out. Hey, oh. Uh, how's it going? Ah, Red. Can you please go fetch me some logs while I get the food ready? What? You're leaving? Sounds serious. All right then. Go used to your company, but the privacy will be welcome. Still. Ah. Can we still get you some logs though? Least we can do for let me stay with you while we uh you know, trained at Mount Silver. Wait, what's our team? Oh, level eighty, nice. Ah, so we're going with the Crystal team with uh, Espion. Because in Gold and Silver, Espion was um. Lapras, wasn't it? Alright, nice. Oh. Liking the music. Oh, the background looks so nice. Uh, let's go... I mean, it's, it's level 44. I don't really want to go for Bolt Tackle, but... Nice. It runs really nice and smooth, though. I'm not sure if it runs on the newer Essentials. Because I know the, uh, the newer Essentials, it just, like, seems so much smoother. But, uh, do we want to go that way? Because that leads back to, like, Kanto. I want to explore a little bit, see what we can find. Alright. Like I said before, if you guys haven't played the first journey, definitely, definitely check it out, because it's not like your typical Pokemon story. Things change here and there. But it's, uh, it's, it's really good. Really, really good. Alright, so... I should check my bag as well, so I've got any items. 
I have some repels and whatnot. I like how the Pokemon move as well. It's really cool. So we got nothing in our bag. Alrighty then. So Mount Silver. Uh, I'm assuming we can surf. We've got Pokemon Center here. If we want to surf across, can we? Yeah. Get you using surf. Sweet. And this is a dead end. And I wonder if we can actually go into Mount Silver. I mean, we probably can, but I don't think we want to. Oh, no. Okay, so we don't want to go in there. Red's just like, nope, you ain't going in. Oh. Oh, I guess because... Are we technically... Is Mount Silver... Is it Johto or Kanto? Is it the... Um... I swear, like, I played another game where it was, like, another region just above. But, uh, the music slightly changed. I feel like it's more like Johto music, isn't it? Alright, so let's go back the way we're supposed to go. Squally, get all the way over there. There you go. So we go down here and we're supposed to go right. Alright, uh, I'm just going to run away from Nodrio. And then we go around. Back to Kanto. It's going to be great to see everyone again. See our mum, see what she's got to say. I mean, we've been gone for years. And everyone's going to probably be happy we lost. Because, obviously, when we uh, play in... You know, as read back in back in the good old days, we never lost, but hey, halt! Oh, do apologies. Please proceed. Oh wait, an official told me to give you this. Oh. Dear Red, you might not know who I am, but I have your best interest at heart. Okay. Wait, I was reading that. A guy called Mr. Pokemon, then what? That's it from me. Okay, I didn't press anything, it just disappeared, so I can't go that way. Oh man. But route 26. So I assume we're gonna, like I read the word Mr. Pokemon, so I assume we're gonna go see Mr. Pokemon now. Which is back in Cherry, or just after Cherry Grove, isn't it? Route 2? Um, so I can tell you. I like the music here. Nice little Blastoise. Good grass knot! Nice. Hey yo, how's it going? So I'm, uh, Ty standing here waiting for trainers to pass by. Well, probably not the best place to stand, because you're not going to get many trainers coming down here. This is like a uh, endgame location, you know? Go try standing like Route 1, where all the trainers start on their adventure for the first time. Then you get an easy win. Oh, I'm going to go for Grass Knob, but he's still fine. We'll have a late It's not like we're going to lose to these guys. I think it's going to be super easy. Alright. Have we got a map to check or anything? No. Just keep going down. Oh. Got black apricorn. Nice. Hey, yo. Hello. You may rest here if you want. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. See ya. And if I see you first. Hey, yo. Ah, I was just about to reel in a big one. And now you're about to reel in these hands as I take you down with, uh... Let's go grass knot. Oh. Oh, tackle. Oh, poison point. No. Okay, we'll go see that lady again in a second. More quillfish? Okay, and then one more. Seeking. Nice. Like, I do like Volt Tackle, but... Oh my goodness, the recoil is not fun. Alright, now we're fully healed. Uh, let's keep going down. Like, Volt Tackle is great, but... The recoil, man, just... We're gonna end up losing against uh, a very weak trainer because we'll be so low on HP from the, from the tackles. I don't remember a house ever being here. Hey, yo. Hmm. Hmm? Okay. Espeon. Ah, oh, nice. Surf. Surf and Pikachu, too good. So what do we have in here? Oh. Counter first. Go away, Raticate. Just need to see what we've got inside this house. Oh, the weekday siblings diary. It's an entry list in location for siblings. Okay. So where are they? Can I read it again? Oh. I was thinking maybe like it'll just show us where each of the locations are and then we can go take them on for a battle or something. Uh, let's just run away. We're not go down this side just because... Yeah, I've got trainers and stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Trainer battle, eyes me, blah. Okay. I mean, very easy experience, but... I mean, we might grow a level. Maybe. It's all good, it's all good. And 
Golduck, we'll go for a nice Grass Knot. And then a Vaporeon, another Grass Knot. Excellent. Alrighty. So I know this route's quite long. So I mean, I feel like we're getting close to new Bark Town, right? Oh, if we went down that way, we could fight that dude. And be on the bottom. Route 27. Can we jump down here? No, so just miss that one trainer. Oh, well, well, well. Oh, well, 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 indeed. Oh, wow, the background looks nice. Uh, we will switch. I, I mean, don't really need to switch. We'll do it anyway. Take down. Oh, oh, that damage. So much. I should have really actually looked at the, the moveset of our Pokemon, actually, just in case we can take a, you know, a tough battle. So we've got Light Ball, we've got Electro Surge, that's cool. Volt Tackle, Iron Tail, Surf Grass Knot. No item, but Giga Drain, Leech Seed, Slug Bomb, Protect, that's really nice. Rest Sleep, Talk, Crunch, and Double Edge. And Empower, Light Screen, Trick, and Psycho Cut. Belly Drum, Flame Charge, Dragon Claw, and Acrobatics. And then Shell Smash, Hydro Cannon, Ice Beam, and Rapid Spin. Alright, not bad, not bad. Let's go this way. Do love the music here. This route's got great music. Let's nice run. Oh. Many, many encounters. I wish we had some repels. Don't really care for these encounters, to be honest. Not like we're gonna, we can't even catch anything anyway. We've got no money. Not no money, no balls. We've got money because we've been beating all these trainers. Alright. Uh, let's switch to Charizard. Metal sound, that's fine, because we're going to hit you with a nice flame charge. What else, Executor? More flame charge! And last but not least, Quagsire. Don't go for a Dragon Claw. Oh, you actually live a Dragon Claw? Respect. Do you think you'd uh, live that? Oh, what's this? Oh, no, okay, there's a pl platform raising us up. I thought that was like uh, know, a ladder going down or something for a second there. Dummy, we are just going to cross. No! Uh, Gir oh, Giraffe Rig. Uh, let's go, Charles. The Giraffe Rig evolution is just. Oh, love it, man. Love it. Like, I, I always liked Giraffe Rig, but I just felt like it needed an evolution or something, and now that we finally got one, it's just. Oh, it's beautiful. It's such, such a good design as well. So we almost crossed the bridge. Oh, I feel like I recognize that little bit there. I think that's when you first get into this route from New Bark Town, so we gotta be getting very close. Oh, level 55. That's the strongest dude we've seen so far. Level 60. Oh, he's getting there. Doing a lot of damage. 62. Oh, there's recoil. Uh, better switch. It's good blast, always good for like an ice beam. Level 70. Doesn't do too much. Oh wow! Oh, I thought you were taking up my Blastoise. Respect, man. So trainers are getting stronger and stronger. Just makes me think the closer to Kanto you are, the uh, the weaker they are. Jodo trainers are just clearly built different, or maybe not, because this guy's like level forty. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. We're good. We're good. I was close. All right, new Bark Town. Oh, wait, no. Um, taking your first steps into Kanto, friend. Oh, we're in Kanto. I've all gone down to like New Bark Town. Ah, okay. No, I don't recognize this. Unless uh, going east. No. Like she said the same thing that would say if you went from New Bark Town this way. Uh, what's this? Hey, oh. Sorry, son, I don't have any Sandstorm TMs left. No! I want a Sandstorm TM! Oh. No, yeah. Oh! Oh, snap! Ah, you've finally shown yourself. Oh, that looks so sick! Before I begin, please understand. This isn't personal. Oh, that? Yes. I know who you are. I wouldn't take my chances against a champion. Or should I say, Former champion. We need to reach for them. It won't work, so don't bother. Although, I was told you have a Pikachu, a Pikachu out of its ball. Looks like I got lucky. 
makes my job easier, does it not? Adios. Oh, snap, man! Got Wes and his Shadow Lugia. Wait, shouldn't it be the other guy that Shadow Lugia? I mean, I don't care. Love Wes. I mean, I can't remember the, the guy's pro the pro protagonist name from um, XD Gala Darkness, but we all know the first guy's cooler. <laughs> my, my. What do we have here? Let's see. This guy's a gold mine. Eight badges should sell for around 500,000. A full party? Mm, there's a couple of rare ones here, perhaps around 300,000. And the items in his bag should fetch me at least 100,000. What a sucker. Huh, his ID. League champion? Pfft, yeah, sure. I won't take this. Better leave the guy to his delusions. Or not. We can't have uh, charlatans claiming to be champions around here. That's it. This is the catch of a lifetime. Uh, golden rod luxury. Here I come. Oh, the blossoms look sick. Not been a good day for Red. First gets beat by gold. Then gets beat by Wes. Then gets his stuff stolen. All your belongings, including your Pokemon, have been stolen. It is just not Red's day. Oh, so we're on, um... Uh, this is... Uh... Oh, Cinnawood? Because you got... Uh, you seen, but... Sniff! Is that Suicune? No, what do you want? Scram, kiddo. Okay. Uh, hey, oh. Uh, yeah, Cinnawood. Is it Seamwood? Cinnawood. I always call it Cinnawood, but I think it might be Seamwood. Such a relaxing place. Just don't want to leave, ever. Now, is it? I could have sworn it was Cinnawood. I've been calling it Cinnawood since I was a kid. <laughs> I think it reminds me of Cinnabar. Because you surf down to a place for the sin that's, you know. But they say uh, food shortages are coming. Go learn how to eat less. Uh, I'm going to suffer otherwise. Alright. Uh, Jimmy Dare out. I'm Chuck's biggest fan. He and I, we share the same amount of body weight. Well, bad rumors say that his is 90% muscle and 10% body fat and mine is 60% body fat and 40% water. But I choose not to believe those rumors. Huh? Wait, don't even have any Pokemon with you. You here for his autograph then? I am. Dude, love Chuck. Uh... Hey, yo. Are you one of the, them gym challenges? At this point, you're the only tourist we're getting here. Ooh, sucks. Alright, what we got here? Hey, yo. Dude, you must be a trainer, no? Please, I beg of you. I'm just really bad with Pokemon. Never had what it takes to properly raise one. Please, please, please accept this Pokemon as a gift. So many people have passed by. Not even one wanted this Mon. That other guy around your age simply kicked it once he realized it didn't have competitive potential anymore. His words. What the heck does that even mean? Oh, we got a Pokemon of Rocky. What's it going to be? But thank you. At least it will have a proper home now. Hey, Shucky. Shucky the Shuckle. Okay, I was thinking it was going to be Shuckle, because I, I, I felt like I remember getting a Shuckle here in the original Johto games. I mean, I haven't played them in so long, I can't really remember. So this is where you get the secret potion, right? Uh, what? You need herbs? No. Uh, okay. Exit's over there. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, uh... For the Pokemon Center. And this is the Mart. So we've got no money. We have a level, was it 10 Shuckle? Level 10 Shuckle. It is just not Red's day. Uh, before we go, oh. Guess we can go maybe fight Chuck now, but. Let's uh, go in here. Cliff Edge. Hey, yo. Sorry, sir. The Nature Preserve is undergoing inspection from the Environmental Bureau. Please come back later. Okie dokie. Kind of stuff across. So I think the first thing to do is probably just go take on Chuck, get our first gym badge maybe, but oh. Hello there, Challenger. Surprised to see a hiker in a fighting type gym? Well, I'm just here to lose weight. Okay, fair play. All right, what you got for us, Tyro? Uh, best thing to do. Santu? I mean, that's not bad, and then roll out? Come on, keep going. Nice. I love that berry juice. And then one more. Way. Okay, keep going. Keep going. One more. Wait, Santoon, finish it off. No, we missed. No, dude, we missed. That's. 
We had that. We 100% won that. If we didn't miss. That's... That's so unfair, man. All right. Roll out. I feel like Rollout's probably not the play, actually. Although, I mean, it's not bad. I need that berry juice. I think I'm gonna lose. Yeah. This could be the one. Keep going. Go on. Go on, one more, one more. Let's go! Oh, I finally won with one HP. Actually, I grew a lot of levels because I just kept losing to the Pan Cham. The Pan Cham was incredibly difficult. Uh, I probably should get healed up first and then uh, we'll go with Speed of Chuck. <laughs> oh man, that was so, so hard. Like, oh man, Bide also worked well to some extent, but I think you need to basically rely on RNG there for um, Tyrogue to at least crash one of the high jump kicks and then you're kind of good. And Rapid Sandstorm just doing that bit of damage and you can start roll out a little bit and just get that going. Oh, that was hard. Huh, yeah, another challenger. What's your reason for battling? Some battle for the fun of it, some battle because they want the glory, others because they seek a challenge. What about you? Money? How base? Ah, you don't have any gym badges. Apologies then, it's not every day that I get to battle a novice. <laughs> so you might uh, need the money then. Alright, as per league rules, I will have to use my weakest team against you. Prepare and talk to me when ready. Okay, let's roll, kid. Yeah, let's definitely roll. Let's uh, roll out. Alright, Mankey. I feel like I'm going to lose this fight a lot. Go Sand Tomb first. Okay. Wrap. You're gonna keep countering, should I just like hide? Let that do its damage and I'll just chill here for a bit. Okay. It's all good. Still stuck in the uh sand tomb at least. Oh, free from the sand tomb. Yeah, I can see drop, but a bit of bite damage. And... Oh no, he counted my bite. Well, this is gonna be a hard fight. All right, so I think we got the strat down. This battle is incredibly difficult. I'm gonna miss the sand tomb right off the bat. Nice. All right, we're then gonna just keep biting because you're gonna keep going for counter. Bide's gonna let us just get away. He's got free, which is great. Sand tomb, keep doing the damage. Keep doing the damage. Free from sand tomb. Okay. So now I'm gonna go for rollout. Because I can take the hit. That finish you off. And now we've got two rollouts in. Heracross comes in, got rest. Oh, that's actually really good. Let's get rid of wrap. Get for the confusion. Nice. Miss dynamic punch. Nice! Let's go! That's what we needed! Ooh, that was close. Hmm, who is this kid? Stolen tactics from a beginner? Just what the heck has the league been thinking these days? All right, a loss is a loss. And we got the storm badge. Go out, have fun or something. Oh, I'm gonna save the game, definitely. That was, uh, yeah, that took a long time. Incredibly difficult because of, um, obviously the shuckle, just not being great, but I think it's probably a great place to end this part off here. Next episode, we'll continue on and see what's going to happen with Red and how else his, his day can just get worse and worse. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.